Hello and welcome to Let's Talk SEO. Now, I've always had a problem with people who use SEO tools like SEMrush, uh, Ahrefs, SE Ranking, whatever else tool that they're using or so they found out that they shouldn't use from a YouTuber who gets an affiliate commission by recommending the tool. The problem with using a tool and not knowing exactly what it's recommending and why it's recommending, what it's recommending means that you're going to get yourself into a lot of trouble, especially if you're not up to date with the latest SEO news. Now, there's a lot of things that change in SEO. There are many SEOs. I think the vast majority of SEOs don't even keep up with the SEO news. And so they give their clients some bad advice. They do bad SEO, not because they intentionally want to do bad SEO, is because they're not aware of what's going on. An instance of this is people that think that they should submit a disavow file because they have a whole lot of bad backlinks pointing to their domain. When in fact, Google has said this maybe a year and a half ago, uh, submitting a disavow file does not necessarily mean that your rankings will recover. Now, someone asked this on Reddit and I'll put the exact question here on Reddit. And John Miller asked, and I'll also put this answer on screen so that you guys can read it, said that, you know, if you're going to submit a disavow file, don't think that your rankings will recover because of it. And now, in my opinion, and also in my experience, the three things that happen when you submit a disavow file, and I've seen this across all industries, number one is nothing happens. So you create a disavow file, you submit it, and Google has made it harder to find the tool, by the way. So you submit the disavow file, uh, it goes through successfully, but you don't see any effects from it. So that's number one and i think that's probably the best case scenario is that you don't see an outcome from it the second outcome is you submit a disavow file and your rankings actually go down and i've seen a lot of this going on and when a lot of people approach me i ask them if they submitted a disavow file and they say yes and when i go and i look at their site they submitted it probably a month ago a month and a half ago and since then they've just just been waiting for the rankings to improve when in fact the rankings have gone down and usually they submitted the disavow file because SCM Rush recommended it. So if SCM Rush is recommending something, it's not important. It's not necessarily important that you go ahead and do it because SCM Rush is a machine. It's a tool. It's created by developers who not necessarily know SEO. A lot of things that SCM Rush reports is just absolute crap. And so if you just go through the and just do everything that SCM Rush says that you should do with your website, you're not going to recover. Even the audit is a crappy feature. Whether you use SCM Rush, whether you use Ahrefs, whether any other tool, all these automated audits are crap. At least in my experience, what they provide you with is more crap, and you're just going to chase your tail again and again, trying to figure out, scratching your head, trying to figure out what the hell is going on with your website. Third thing that happens with your site, if you submitted this OL file, is that you will lose rankings. Um, and not just lose rankings, but even when you delete the disavow file, thinking that that will improve rankings, it will not improve your rankings. So you can go ahead and delete all the disavow files that you submitted and your rankings will not improve even months later. And there's a way to recover from that and improve your rankings if that's the case and if all things are equal. But there's th these are the three scenarios. And so I recommend to my clients always, especially those that use these well, SEO tools is, you know, don't just follow the recommendation of an SEO tool. It's a tool. It's there to provide you with information, but not all the information it provides you is necessarily important. And so in this case, it's actually dangerous because you could literally tank your site by following that advice by an SEO tool. Uh, I hope this helps someone. If you're looking that if you're seeing a lot of backlinks, bad backlinks are coming into your website. Uh, don't buy a disavow service. I know there's some that some SEOs that sell this crappy service. Don't buy a disavow uh, service. Don't submit a disavow file. Uh, there are other methods that you can use to do away with those backlinks, which I'm not going to discuss in this video because it will just make this take this video in a to totally different direction. But in a nutshell, if you see tons of bad backlinks coming in, the disavow file is not going to work for you. Hope this helps you guys. Like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.